Hey guys, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to download your logo in high resolution in Canva. So it looks very crisp. It looks very sharp when you upload it on Facebook or anywhere. And little tip, this will work not only with logos, but with any kind of documents in Canva. So let's go. So for this, I'm going to use, of course, a logo canvas, right? So if you search the search bar right here for logo, you can see I don't even have to search. It says here. Canva has a suggested dimension for a logo, which is 500 by 500 pixels. And that's the size of the document they recommend for logos, right? This says logo right here. So I'm going to use that. And the first thing, of course, is we have to create a logo like basic. I'm not going to reinvent the wheel here. This is not a tutorial about logo creation, but how to export it in a high resolution. So I'm going to use this logo right here. Uh, but I would customize this, of course, because you know me, I'm not just going to use a logo. I'm going to customize this. I want a white background. I want a text here that is gray. Another text here that is also gray. And this I'm going to get rid of it anyway. So I don't need this one either. And I'm just going to put a photo of myself right here. Um, so going to the elements, okay, and I'm going to use one of these frames, like this one, make this smaller and smaller like this, make sure it's centered. Okay, so this is a placeholder with a f uh, an outline, which I'm going to give the same gray border, okay, gray outline. Now I'm going to drop one of my photos inside this placeholder. So let's do this. I'm going to use the photo I use for my page. By the way, if you haven't liked my page yet on Facebook, I share a ton of tutorials, not only about Canva, but about digital marketing in general. You can find the page. It's called Learn with Ronnie. So facebook.com slash learn with Ronnie. You will find a bunch of tutorials. All right. Back to our project here. So I have some kind of a logo here. I just need to put my name. It's going to be called Learn with Runny. Okay, I don't like this font collective. I'm going to use something. Let's use Campton and see what how it looks like. It's not bad, but I'm going to reduce the spacing between the letters to something maybe 30. Yeah, looks good. And make this bigger, slightly bigger. Actually, no, let's keep this small. And instead of this, I'm going to insert a Canva um, visual here. So I'm going to search for Canva. Yes. And I want to include this Canva logo. You cannot see it because it's white on white. So let's change it to this. Of course, let's make this smaller. The idea here is that I want to make something rather small um, to show you that the resolution, once we export it with the suggested dimension from Canva, it's not that great. So in order to do this, I want to make something quite small. All right. So learn with Ronnie and then the Canva icon. It's not a great logo. I just did this in two seconds. But what I want to show you is this. Uh, let's export this. All right. So let's uh, go to my settings here. So download PNG. Yes, PNG is fine. It says high quality image. All right. That's what I want. I want to download this. OK, so this is my image. I can see straight away that it's not super sharp. The image, the photo is not great. And the Canva here, which is small. And even the Learn with Ronnie is not perfectly sharp. So I'm going to save this. Save as. OK, and I'm going to save this as Ronnie logo. And this is Canva suggested resolution. OK, save this. OK, so this is saved. And now the trick that I want to show you is how to have this logo in a higher resolution. Let me open it. The logo. OK, so it doesn't look that great. If I upload this on Facebook, it's probably going to be compressed even more. So I need to find a way to make this look better, like a higher resolution. Two ways of doing this. The first way you are a Canva for work user. That means you are a paid member of Canva. So you will have access to a very cool feature called Magic 
resize. So this is the button right here that says resize. I am a Canva for work user. That's part of the Canva certified creative uh, perks that uh, Canva gives that to me for free because I'm a Canva influencer if you want. So if you don't have this button, that means you are not a Canva for work user, but you can still do this. Uh, and I'm going to come to this in a second. But first, let me show you how to do it if you do have the resize button. So you just click the resize button and this will allow you to select another format and simply copy and resize your current document into that higher or into that different resolution of a Canva. So what I want to do is to use the custom dimensions button right here and I'm going to enter the highest number possible. So the highest resolution possible in Canva is 5000 pixel by 5000 pixel. You cannot go higher than this. So let's enter 5000 by 5000. So it lets me copy and resize. And I want, I want to prove to you that you can go 5001 because it says, oh, that you, you got an error message basically. So 5000 is the highest possible resolution. So I'm going to copy and resize. So Canva is opening a new tab. It's called copy of whatever logo. Okay, so this is it. I'm going to download this one. Same PNG. So we have the same settings. It's just a higher canvas, right? We went from 500 to 500 to 5,000 by 5,000. So 10 times bigger. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so that's the logo. I can see that the photo straight away, it looks more sharp. It looks sharper. And the Canva visual here as well. Basically, everything looks sharper. So I'm going to save this. Save as. And I'm going to say, this is not Canva suggested resolution, but the highest resolution. I'm going to save this here. Okay, so now let's have a look. So this is the Canva suggested resolution. And this one is the highest resolution. See the difference between the two? Look at the photo. Much clearer, much sharper. Look at the text now. It's also much sharper, especially the Canva logo right here. This is how you do it if you are a Canva for Work member. If you're not a Canva for Work member, what you want to do and you have to do this at the beginning of the process is to create a document. So instead of choosing the logo canvas right here, you want to create a document, a custom dimension document right here and type in your highest resolution, 5000 by 5000. You create a new design. Canva will open this high resolution document and then you start designing from here. So basically, you will uh, recreate that same logo, but with higher resolution from the get go from the beginning. When you export this, you will have the same outcome. So let me prove you now that uh, this is actually a better resolution by uploading both these logos on Facebook. So for this, I'm not going to upload this on my main page because it's a little bit low quality content. It's just for a test. So I'm going to use a page I kind of abandoned. Uh, don't follow this page. There's nothing going on here. And I'm going to upload the logos first, the logo suggested with the resolution suggested by Canva. So this one. And I'm going to call this one Canva suggested res. And that's 500 by 500 pixels. All right. Going to publish. Good. And I'm going to upload create another post with the other logo, the highest resolution logo. And this is the highest res 5000 by 5000 pixels. So I want to show you this in action actually on Facebook and see if the difference is really clear on Facebook as well. So let me show you first. This is the Canva suggested resolution. I'm going to show you show this full screen. So this is how it looks full screen. You can see the photo is a little bit smooshy. The edges are not very well defined and the Canva logo here looks a little bit blurry to me. Now let's go to the other one. This is the higher resolution logo and you can see everything it looks much sharper actually. Again, this and this. You can see especially the photo is very clear to me that it looks much sharper. All right, so I think I will finish the lesson here. The only thing I want to tell you is that this works not only with logos, but pretty much with every document. So if you want to make a document 
higher resolution, make sure you keep the same aspect ratio. So in this case, it's a square aspect ratio. It's a one-on-one -on -one aspect ratio. But if you are designing a Facebook cover, if you are designing a YouTube thumbnail, you can boost the resolution by basically multiplying by two, three, or four the actual resolution. So you can see what Canva suggests and then multiply this by four. As long as it stays under 5,000 pixels, you will be fine. So that's my tip on how to export higher resolution visuals with Canva.